hey guys it's me tata royals and welcome back to another royal video today we are going to be talking about all things wellness and health and wellness in the journey how to get started on your wellness journey this video is going to be all about wellness so as you can see lately the influencers and the girlies are all going to gym taking pilates drinking matcha waking up with their cute little active wear sets and it just makes it so much more fun to have a wellness journey because everything looks so cute and stuff like that but a wellness journey is not about the aesthetics and stuff like that because i feel like that's where the that girl aesthetic plays from it plays more for the aesthetic a wellness journey it doesn't have to do anything with the aesthetic but you know now social media has made it a big aesthetic thing and it became that girl aesthetic but today we're going to be talking about the wellness part of everything and the part that actually matters the most so if you're interested in this video and you want to know more make sure to subscribe right now or follow and like and comment thank you so much and now let's start the video so today we're going to talk about how to start your wellness journey and the first thing that i would say is first you got to know what wellness is so wellness is basically wellness is the act of practicing healthy habits on a daily basis to attain better and physical mental health outcome so basically it is basically having everything better your physical and your mental all together because if both of that is doing well trust me your whole energy will be well i got this whole idea from the article in the aesthetics.com is how to um, get started in your wellness journey and they talked about the w seven pillars of wellness is basically like the main focus problems that people have in the world which team also pick which one that you want to deal with so the seven pillars are mental wellness emotional wellness social wellness spiritual wellness occupational wellness and environmental wellness and these are the main pillars obviously some people would add more or take weight some but these are the main pillars that people deal with when they're starting their wellness routine they have problem areas in one of these routines i mean in one of these wellness problems and they want to get it fixed so for me, it would be physical wellness or like my main target areas that I feel like I have problems with. And I know I can do better. And I know if I do better on those areas, I will all eventually feel better overall. If you want to know more about this, go on aesthetics.com and I'll leave a link below so you can read more about it. And they define every pillar and stuff like that. I don't want to do all that in this video because we're going to be here for forever. So now that you picked a problem area that you know that you can work better and you can work on better and can make you feel physically and mentally feel better all together at the end now it's time to start your wellness journey and the first one is define your goal basically set your goal and define it and make sure you take a look at your life and see what's holding you back from doing certain things that you really want to do what certain what things that you need to cut off from doing and narrow it down to see how you can reach the goal that you want to reach and mind you everyone goals is different but for example if you want to do fitness or what you have to um what exercise you have to start doing to slowly get into fitness or if you want to have um a healthier diet what things you got to stop eating to have a healthier diet so basically figure out what's the problem and how to stop it so the next thing is educate yourself wellness is not all about drinking a smoothie every day drinking matcha every day working out 5 a.m in the morning and just having this perfect aesthetic thing that's going on and a lot of influencers are portraying it's not about that wellness takes time it's all when you want to so educate yourself about whatever wellness problems that you're having a problem with and learn more the more you learn the better you work and the better it will help you at the end to you know get to a conclusion to figure this out next you have to create a plan i'm talking about an organized detailed plan you might want to take out a planner or a notebook anything you want to write in that so you can actually have an organized plan that you would see that can help you you know achieve this goal little by little so everyone has a huge goals but in, before you reach those big goals you have to consider reaching the small ones so when you're writing your plan and you want to include small tasks that you know that you can reach and small goals that you know you can manage because the little it starts little by little and the more you cu accumulate that it becomes a big goal and you achieve your main goal at the end of the day and something that i like to do that's fun and makes you want to focus is having like a vision board of how you want to be how you want your life to be and just make it cute and fun and you can also put it in your up in your room so it's like a art piece and it's a motivational tool so i would like that too i think that's a really fun and creative way to have your plan and just take cute pictures print them out and just create your plan everyone is going to be different and unique and fun that's what makes it so 
you know fun to do so now that you made your plan you have to take action as in if you are doing something where you want to lose weight you have to start realizing okay i'm have to cut out this food i can meal prep maybe if that can help you better i can start eating before like a few hours before i go to sleep i want to because this is if, this is if you want to lose weight this is for example so you have to really take action and be consistent you want to do this all the time as much much as you can because it gives you into a groove and it makes you something that you get yes used to at the end of the day you're going to get used to it because it becomes a lifestyle ultimately it's not a thing that you do for one day and then you know you just have fun with it and you go on with your life no it becomes a lifestyle this is a wellness you're changing basically your health your health and your mindset and making it better like being becoming your best self and at the end of the day even if you have to adjust your schedule for certain things that you want to get done in your wellness plan you can do that as long as you get it done just make sure you get it done because you want to see those results is track your progress i'm talking about track how many it depends like if you want to lose weight or if you want to it depends all on your career track your progress take pictures take videos write times maybe you have to save physical things to show your progress like measurements if you're trying to like lose weight so it all depends on what you want to do but track your progress so you can have something to look back at to to motivate you so you can see how far you came be flexible and adapt this is not something that's going to be perfect it's not going to be easy everybody everybody's wellness journey takes time and takes dedication and takes blood sweat and tears and hard work and at the end of the day is going to be so much better for you and the outcome you're going to feel happier your energy is going to be better your physical appearance are going to, is going to be better you're going to feel more confident and you're just going to be the best version of yourself so i definitely want to get started on my wellness journey and i want you guys to join me we could do it together i'm so excited and i'm definitely going to do like a day in the life of a vlog of like how i started my wellness journey and what i do and stuff like that i'm still learning what i'm going to do my schedule i'm still planning exactly what i want and i have to just realize that it's going to take uh, make me another week to really plan what i want to do but i'm going to do it and it's going to be fun and it's really motivational because i know when i get to the best version of myself i'm gonna pour out, pour out best content best fashion outfits because i am like a content creator for like fashion beauty and stuff like that and i'm just gonna be overall just fun and i want to just be so free again you understand so if you guys want to see more like an in-depth vlog of like a day in my life for my wellness journey, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below so I'd see that. And thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.